Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this uh, Think or Swim tutorial video for you. Learn, I'm not going to lie, the Think or Swim platform, it's very uh, complicated to learn at first. There's lots of moving parts, but look at this. Look, when you get your thing set up, look at how clean and how nice your charts can look. Look at the indicators. Uh, you have your scan set up, and look, I have my scans all kind of linked, right? So I can go through my charts, boom, boom, boom. Um, you can see I have my indicators over here uh, to show you, you know, kind of a simple area of where you go to set up your indicators. If you click on studies and you click on edit studies, this is where you can go in and you can see how I have mine set up over here. You can just type in, you know, simple moving average <clears throat> and boom, double click on it and add an indicator, right? So that's where you go and you add your indicators, right up, up here under studies, click edit and change it within here. Um, again, I'll show you some more of the basics in a minute, um, kind of trying to highlight stuff. But we show you again how to set up or how to make a trade in uh, Thinkorswim. Uh, again, there's a, going back to Thinkorswim, I showed you right up here, you can click on trade, you can right click on your chart, buy and sell here. Uh, this is what I wanted to show you over here. You can click on trade over here and you can go up here and edit these buttons right over here with this toggle switch and add limit order. So you can see down here, um, there's a uh, buy at the ask. Oh, there we go. Buy at the ask, sell at the bid. So I can go buy at the ask, add item. I'll buy at the bid if I wanted to add item. Okay. Um, actually, wait, did I do that right? Uh, buy market, okay. Buy at the ask, add item. Oh, I probably would have to just, um, here it is. Go over here. So perfect example. Once I added it, I just need to take it and just move it up here, right? So like that. <clears throat> so there you go. Buy at the ask, right? If I want to buy, you know, buy at the bid, I can add that as well. So this is another area you can go and have these buttons on the side to make a trade. So you can go up here to trade. You can right click on the chart and buy or sell. You can come over uh, to here and press trade. There's also a feature called big buttons. So you can edit these buttons right over here with this toggle switch and do the same thing I just showed you, add and delete and move it. Uh, as you can see over on our course over here, thinkorswim big button setup. Uh, and then you'll see the next one, thinkorswim active trader. Uh, so if you wanna go over here to active trader and click on this, there's a whole setup on how you can do active trader. Uh, let me just click off big buttons. So active trader is like a big level, kind of like a level two area that you can trade off of like this right here. So if you want to know how to use um, active trader and really how to set it up, obviously you can go up here and adjust things over uh, in this um this toggle switch area, this toggle setting really kind of is a good guide on a lot of the areas with thinkorswim. It can be kind of confusing. So if you look at that area, you can go in and adjust it. Uh, so again, on our thinkorswim course, we walk you through, uh, you know, your whatever your preference is on trading. Uh, again, there isn't a right or a wrong way to trade with thinkorswim's platform. It's just a matter of what makes you most comfortable. And that's why, again, you want to get set up over here and your virtual platform will look essentially just like your uh, regular platform. Uh, what you wanna do, they're gonna set you up automatically with simulated data, uh, which is a, basically a delayed time frame with trading. But if you call them and ask them to add on real-time data, they'll give you um, real-time data so that you can, um, <clears throat> you know, trade real time in a virtual account. If they give you a hard time, uh, tell them uh, that we referred you over to them and um, that they said that they do that. Because I've asked them several times, um, you know, will they do this for all of their customers? And they say, yes, they will add real time data on. So uh, think or swim, if you're listening to this video and you hear me, um, obviously you can see we bring you a massive amount of traffic um, <laughs> to your site and we recommend you highly and uh, there are tens of thousands of views on our videos um, of people coming to join you. So make sure that you uh, set up your customers uh, with the real-time data if they're looking to set up a virtual account. Um, again, we've asked several times, It's you guys have said you will do it. Uh, we do hear of instances 
<coughs> excuse me, once in a while of people having it a hard time. So we just recommend if you don't get it set up, um, if you know, maybe call in and get a, an ex, uh, an additional um, customer service rep, and usually you should be able to get set up. Again, that's another thing that we really love about Thinkorswim or TD Ameritrade. They have fantastic customer service. Um, again, all this stuff that you see here, this took me so many hours to learn at first. That's why I uh, take advantage of our free course because it'll take so many hours to really learn trying to figure it out all on yourself. And that's why we kind of just broke it down and made it simplified for you. But I, I can't even tell you if, uh, you know, TD Ameritrade pulled up my call history of how many times I call them. I'm sure it was probably at least 100 but they were always fantastic. Every time I'd call in and say, hey, how do I set up a stop loss? Or how do I place a trade with you guys? Or set up my alerts? Or set up the big buttons? They were always very helpful. And that's why we recommend them as a broker. Um, again, their platform is just, it's top notch. Um, there are some drawbacks at times. You know, if you're a day trader and you're looking to do um, <clears throat> hotkeys, they're very limited on their hotkeys. Um, so I personally use Thinkorswim for all of my charting. And then I use, you know, since I am an active day trader, I use another platform for day trading. Um, you know, think it's Thinkorswim or uh, TD Ameritrade, if you're listening uh, to this video, uh, if you had editable hotkeys, um, it would make your platform just even more robust. And the other thing would be short availability. That's the other drawback. Uh, if they got better locates for uh, shorting, um, then I just, I, I would, we just would nonstop every single day, say everybody go with uh, think or swim. Uh, so they're a little bit lax on shorting and editable hockeys, but other than that, their platform is just top notch. Um, again, going over to uh, our course here, you'll see how, how to set up one cancels the other order. So this is where you can kind of have the editable orders up here and you can kind of, um, you know, edit, uh, you know, do one cancels the other order. So like when you right click on your chart where it says like buy custom with OCO brackets or sell custom with OCO brackets. So one cancels the other order is let's say you want to have a stop loss and a limit order to sell and whatever one cancels first, one cancels the other. Hence the term, <coughs> whatever one uh, goes first, if your stop loss kicks in, it'll, uh, you know, sell your shares, you're out. Um, if you, uh, you know, get your profit level before your stop loss kicks in, then you're out. So, uh, one cancels the other, uh, thinkorswim has the ability to do that as well. Um, sorry, I, I get, I just love my charts. I'm so very, very specific, uh, on, uh, how I look at my charts. Um, so like when I pull up something and it's not color coded or done the right way, it kind of drives me nuts. But again, you'll see, if you'll see up here that I have, so many different charts set up, right? But this is what you can do. You can just go in and, um, so the one I do, I'm a day trader, so I'll go in here. This is the one I use here. <clears throat> You'll see here as a day trader, when I'm looking at my charts, um, let me just kind of clear the screens here. You'll see that I personally have a daily, a one minute, and a five minute setup. I have level two and time and sales. Uh, that's another thing level uh, with think or swim. Their level two is really good. It's not great. It's still missing uh, other market makers on there. So that is a drawback if you're day trading. Uh, again, if they could just really just zone in on the level two, their hot keys and get better short availability, there's, I mean, nobody would leave them. Um, but anyways, this is my chart set up, how I have it multiple setups. And you can see, again, I have my time in sales, my level two. How you would get to that is just click on this here and click on show sidebar and cells. And then you'll see those are the buttons right here. This is where you can add other things on here. This is where you can add in things like news. So if I want to click on news, I can see news. Um, I have my news linked over here. Um, but this is how you can link everything. Again, in our Thinkorswim course, we show you how to set all of this up. Uh, let me go back here. Again, traders are creatures of habit, so <laughs> I don't like when my charts are messed up. Um, what else we got here? Uh, save chart grid setup. So we go in there and we show you right in here how to go in. And as you once you set everything up, we always, always, always highly re recommend you go up here, click on save grid as and you save your entire layout. So 
<coughs> when you get out your, when you get your layout the way you like it, save your layout, right? When you go into your studies right here and you're in your studies, uh, make sure you save your set as and then save your study set because um, you know when you save your study set, it saves it again. You can see on different time frames, my daily, my one, my one minute, my five minute set uh, setup. Let me X out of this. Uh, so it would save set as, name it, save it. Um, same thing with my charts. So that's with my studies. But then when I get my charts the way I want it set up, then you want to always go up and make sure you save your grid as and name out. So you name it. So you'll have your study set uh, layouts, and then you'll have your whole chart layout. So if I want to go in and load a study, I would just go up to studies, load study set, and let's say Ichimoku, right? I can go in and I can load my Ichimoku. Um, and, um, you know, if I wanted to change my layout, go over here, go to load a different layout. Let's just say, uh, we'll go to, <clears throat> well, let's do this one, All right? So there we go. It loads up a whole different layout. So I can have my screens like this. I do this. I don't trade like this normally. But what I can do, which is cool, is I can go up here, click on this, and click on actually this one up here, right? Click on detach. And then I can detach this and move it to another screen, right? I'm moving it off and on my screen. So I have a multiple chart layout set up so that um, because I'm a, you know, a day trader, I like to look at... Um, uh, you know, chart a few charts real time. So when I'm making my watch list at night over here, <clears throat> and then I'm looking at my uh, scans, uh, I pick a few that I'm looking at that I want to put off to the side and look and keep my eye on. So that way, if I'm going through and, uh, you know, looking at, um, you know, another stock, if I'm clicking on this one, over here, I can see in my other screen to the right of me a handful of stocks, and I'm obviously, you know, looking for patterns um, and uh, obviously looking for potential trades. So that's uh, how you change your studies and your, um, you know, or uh, where are you going to change your studies again on each time frame. Um, you can save them from each time frame, so you set them up however you like it save it and then you can you know if you have it on each time frame one minute five minute daily uh go in and save them each and then however you want your chart set up if you want you know again you're gonna probably you know depending on your trader and what your trading style you might like have the mul you might like having the multiple uh grids like this or there's some people that just like to have the single one and just like to go like this and then if you want to change your type time frame you can just go up here to the uh time area and just um, <clears throat> click on a different time frame. So I can click on, you know, uh, whatever, um, one day, five minute, right? I can do this. Or I can go up here if I'm like, ah, oh, I don't see a time frame I like. I can go up to customize list, add a time frame, and then add it right here, and then save it. I can delete one over here. So I can move it up or down. I can add or delete over here. Uh, so again, this drop down will show you the different time frames. Um, so I'm showing you again, just highlights in this. And then, because I don't know exactly what you're looking for in this, because it's impossible in one uh, video to give you everything that you're looking for. So I'm showing you the highlights, where to go, what it looks like. <clears throat> and then obviously take our course uh, to you know, and find what videos you like in particular, because you might come over here to my course and you might be like, I, I don't really care about, uh, you know, multiple chart setups or, or um, you know, how to place a trade in Thinkorswim, but I'd like to know how to use Active Trader or how to set up one cancels the other. Or uh, you might say, well, those things are kind of confusing to me. How do I just place a trade in Thinkorswim? How do I set up alerts? Um, you know, how do I log into Thinkorswim, right? So that's where, again, we break it down really simply over here in our course to really get you set up. Uh, we show you how to short a stock in Thinkorswim. So when you come over to Thinkorswim over here, <clears throat> shorting is just the inverse of longing. Uh, when you long a stock, you, you know, just for an example, if you buy the ask 
and you get filled, obviously you would, you know, that gets you an immediate fill in most cases, right? If you buy the ask, you get in. And when you get out of your position, you can sell the bid. So buy the ask, sell the bid. Uh, I'll give you an example of that right up here. You can see, let me just um, click on the big buttons. Go over here to that toggle wheel, right? Buy the ask, add item, sell the bid, add item. We'll just move that up. Sell the bid, move that up, press OK. <clears throat> so give you an example here. Um, here's another thing right here. If you have on big buttons, auto send. This would put your order in right away. I don't want to do that by accident. <laughs> um, but if I have auto send on, it wouldn't confirm. It would buy the ask, it would get me in the position. When I want to get out, I could sell the bid. So auto send makes you in and out. Non-auto ascend gives you a confirmation box, all right? And then I can change the number of shares right here, all right? So that's kind of what the big buttons feature. So when you're getting into a position, let's say whether you're, if you were using the big buttons feature, a lot of people like the big buttons feature because you can kind of move it over, uh, as you can see, kind of just move it over here. And it's very simple. Put your number of shares here and uh, <clears throat> you could buy the ass, sell the bid. It's somewhat like a hotkey. Um, it can't give you a, you know, a buffer of five or 10 cents. Uh, it won't allow you to sell, you know, half or quarter share positions, but you can, you know, if you're just swing trading or you only sh trade in certain share blocks, Hey, put your block of shares right here. Boom, boom, boom. Buy the ask, sell the bid. Um, and as obviously you want to do your proper, uh, charting and technical analysis again, over on our website. Uh, make sure you take all of our courses or, or whatever courses pertain to you. If you want to learn basic stock trading or day trading, uh, momentum trading is our more advanced day trading strategies. We have swing trading course, options trading course, and then obviously sink or swim. So there's about $3,000 worth of free courses here. We also have a free trade room as well. If you come and join our trade room over here, <clears throat> this is a great place for you to be able to use your Thinkorswim platform and practice and uh, join a community. We obviously have a community um, where you can, again, enter our trade room over here and shadow and talk with other traders. And you'll see them, um, you know, when you pop in right over here, you'll see what people are talking about right over here. Um, and you'll see, again, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, we just uh, set up um, this um chat room over here. This may change, but right now this is the platform we're using. We have it on our site. Uh, we just moved off another platform to here, but perfect example. You can say like, you can see someone talking, grow, is it a good buy? Well, I could just go over here to my think or swim. Let's say I'm learning. I go to G-R-O-W and boom, I can take a look at grow. I can see this is a five minute time frame. I can pull up the daily. Again, if I'm using a single chart, and see, oh, okay, let's take a look at it. Is it a good buy? It's breaking out today. I would just do my proper, obviously, support and resistance levels. So I would look at my daily chart, see what's happening over here, look at the technicals, you know, and then drill it down. If I'm day trading, I'd pull up over here on the five minute. You can see, oh, on the five minutes, kind of moving up. Uh, it's above the 